It is streaming live. We are live. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. This is going to be an interview in English for Movember, the Prostate Health Month, with Mr. Forrest Andrews from Aneros. Aneros is a very cool prostate toys brand. You can say it's a prostate toy brand. Um, the tagline, which I see you using, is everything else is just a toy. That's very interesting. And <laughs> yeah. I think we might have to explain why that is. Right. No, no. But first, maybe, maybe introduce yourself. Well, again, my name is For Forrest Andrews, and I'm the product and business development manager with Aneros. And we make uh, really the world's first uh, hands-free, self-powered prostate massager. Hands-free prostate massager, right. Mm -hmm. You don't need your hands. That's correct. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's all powered by one's own uh, uh, contractions is really what it is. And the reason behind that everything else is a toy is that we, in, in terms of our parlance, in terms of our the way that we think about it, it is not really a, a toy. It's a, it's a device. It's a very powerful device in terms of what it's able to do. And and I think that uh, we'll we'll discuss some of that here, and you can kind of see what what the difference is, is about. So, okay, great. Um, I, I I haven't met you before, but I did meet with Nero several times at um, Aerofame. Oh yes, mm -hmm. I remember um, the expi the um, I, I can't say I remember the name, but um, the explanation about the medical device that you were actually first in the medical industry. That's correct. And you were the first to market these instruments as bringing pleasure. That that's that's correct. It's it it's kind of an interesting story, actually. Uh, that it, it began with um, well, I should say that prostate massage has been used as uh, a health uh, modality. That is to say, uh, uh, treatment for uh, prostatitis and chronic pelvic pain syndrome and uh symptoms of bph and that goes back really i, I think to early 1900s yeah um, i'm sorry adopted. what is that last term you were using symptoms of uh bph where that is that it's an enlargement of the prostate that's what that stands oh, for. okay yes okay. that you know the, the part of the aging process Mm -hmm. uh, in any event, it's been used, it's been used really for, you know, uh, many years and even before that for, you know, as, as the, really the gold standard, this is before the, uh, the advent of antibiotics that would treat, you know, some of these conditions. Mm -hmm. Um, in any event, uh, you know, that happened in the sixties when, the, you know, they started to have very targeted antibiotics and, and prostate massage fell out of disfavor or f fell into disfavor, I should say. Um, oh, okay, so prostate massage used to be the means to it relieve. Was the, yeah, it was the only mm -hmm. way. It really was the only way. They didn't really have any drugs to treat it at that point. And so, when there was congestion or inflammation, they used uh, a massage, as they use in other parts of the body, really to increase circulation within the gland. That's really what it, what the whole concept was about. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, fast forward from the 60s, uh, the, there have been were doctors that that felt that that the results that they were getting from their patients weren't what they really wanted them, you know, to be. And there, you know, there was also holistic medicine, which really came into being in its own in the 80s. And uh, they started looking at, at other ways of treating it. Uh, forward into the 90s, there was a Japanese urologist who had been using it in, in the context of, of his practice for many years, and he had actually been giving prostate massage in his office. Oh, he, so that used to be a series of sessions where you would go yes. to a therapist and he would give yes. you a prostate massage, right? Precisely, mm -hmm. yeah. So he'd been doing this, and he figured that uh, that if there was some way of people doing this in the comfort of their own home, they might do it more often and to greater effect. Yes, so because he, it is he, a taboo subject, if I may. Yeah. I'm prone to interrupting. I'm very yeah, sorry. No, 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 please. It no, is, no. of course, a, a, um, a taboo subject. I mean, um, you could even see it as, as some kind of a cruel joke that a center of pleasure would be placed in the yeah. retina. Yes, yeah. It yeah. is quite interesting that way, yeah. 
-hmm. but uh, he, uh, what he did is he looked around for somebody who had, you know, a device that, that could, could aid him in, in that respect. And there really wasn't anything on the market. He came in contact with a Japanese inventor living in the United States. And this is in the mid nineties, 1995 or so. And within a year, uh, he created uh, this, this, this device, which was a hands-free a self-powered prostate massager and he patented this device and it was used uh, really from the mid 90s and until 2000 uh strictly as a you know health slash medical product um but one of the things that started happening uh, fairly early on is is that they they started having a lot of uh their customers uh reporting about a peculiar side effect Namely, that they were having very powerful orgasms as a result of using this. Uh, now, they were actually talking about two different things. One was some were using it, continued using it in, you know, in, in their sexual encounters. And they found that it, it, it amplified, it intensified uh, the level of orgasm that they had, you know, the strength of the ejaculation. In addition to that, there was something else that happened that was quite interesting. And that is, is that, that people are also reporting about a completely different kind of orgasm. This was an orgasm that occurred without ejaculation that started in the pelvis and radiated over the entire body. And uh, essentially, there were so many of these reports that were coming in, they realized that they had another way to market this device. And with that, the Aneros mm -hmm. brand was born. We still sell it, by the way, uh, if, you know, for health purposes under the brand name High Island Health. But mm -hmm. uh, again, we started Aneros in 2000. And I think you can probably guess in terms of uh, the two companies, which one has uh, uh, the larger sales. So, uh, you know. Yes, because I, I met Aneros for the first time, I think it was in 2000, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. Mm -hmm. So quite a long time ago, but it was a new thing. So prostate yeah. massagers have been coming up into the market now more and more. You see a yes. lot of them, mm -hmm. but still a Nero's um, for me sits at the top of the designs because they are well done. And mm -hmm. also you can see the, 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 um, the attention the brand has with the users. And you have a yes. forum on your website. We do. Where you have an enormous amount of feedback. Yes, and that we do. is a pleasure to read. Yes, it's and it's, it's don't been, see or, it with other brands. It's been around for, for almost two decades now at this point. And uh, you're right. It, it was interesting because back in 2000, there really wasn't anything that was on the market as far as, as a prostate massager. If it was being used at all, it would have been some kind of a repurposed dildo of some sort. I yeah, mean, it would really... have been a G-spot dildo with a stick yeah. and a bulb. Precisely. But, uh, you know, that changed with with our product. And it really kind of ushered, I, I dare say that we ushered in a, a golden age of of uh, prostate uh devices slash toys that that is continued to the present day so it's 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 a very hot item the thing again that they kind of uh distinguishes us from these other products is for all intent and pur purpose most of these other products are stationary that is to say that that once you insert them they may move inside they may vibrate they may rotate they may do something uh, internally but they don't move in relationship to your body that is to say, they 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 may have an IC that's built into them. That is to say, a chip that you know programs certain vibrations and certain movements. Our product works in conjunction with your body, so it works in harmony with the body. So when you move, it moves, and that's really what makes it very very powerful. Because some of the most powerful responses that we have, believe it or not, in terms of the the human sexual response are involuntary and it's quite literally possible and and for once you get a, a sort of a stimulation loop going to self-stimulate your body where your body is talking to itself and it's doing all of this involuntarily that's essentially how a whole body orgasm is is generated wow so this will mean something entirely different than what we 
understand as a sexual stimulation. Yes. If yes, you indeed. would think with prostate massage, there is a movement involved. You can do it with your fingers. Yes. But this is not the same thing. No, it's not. Now, I, I, I should say that it, there, this is not to put any of these other products down because uh, you can use those products pretty much right out of the box. Their, their chief goal is to generate, is to uh, amplify and st to strengthen a traditional type of orgasm. Okay. That's also possible with our product. You're able Correct, to use because of the because of the pressure that you put on the surrounding erectile tissue. Correct. And the prostate. Uh -huh. Again, any movement that you make with your body is going to be translated into movement internally. Okay, with our product, that's the way that it, it's it's it, it is constructed. That's the way it is designed to work. Mm -hmm. So um, again, there's sort of two different paths that one can take with our product it's it's far more limited with other products that are out there because uh, you know they they kind of do their own thing you know and that's and that's what they do and some of them do it very well but uh in terms of creating whole body orgasm that's something that is is more or less reserved for for what we do so okay so is the secret in the design in the curves of the toys because they're very it specific. Is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. It has a lot to do with the balancing of it. I mean, it's really, uh, you know, it's there are a lot of uh, physical prin principles that are involved in this. Uh, you know, you have uh, basically what you have here is something that is working as a lever arm and a fulcrum and you have something pivoting outside the body. So essentially, when your when your uh, anal sphincter contracts, it pivots externally, stimulating the perineum stimulating the anus as the uh, massager actually is, is driven into the body. So stimulating the perineum, stimulating the anus as, it's, as, it, it, as it moves in, and then stimulating the prostate internally. There's one last point too. We, there's another spot on the other side of the anus that we call the K spot. So it is, this, this product essentially stimulates four zones simultaneously with one contraction. So... That's really where oh. the magic of it lies. Yes, um, I have this one with me here. and mm -hmm. That's um, the UFO. Yes, the, the UFO. UFO Sin. UFO Sin. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a flexible toy. Mm -hmm. And so you insert it. And then if I understand correctly, the prostate would be here somewhere. Yes. Uh-huh. It's really between those two spots. So it can be connected. It really can be. Uh, stimulated by both of those areas right there. Quarter to, it somewhat depends upon the s size of of the person's prostate, of course, but it yes. can stimulate from the head and from this this region right under there. This was originally uh, designed as a uh, uh, advanced users product because it was believed, and it is true, it it take to to utilize this um, more efficiently. It it requires good uh, muscle tone. So that's something that's usually acquired for, you know, people who have been doing this for a while. However, um, I, I recognized very early on that this product was also excellent for new users. Why? Because it's, it's in terms of diameter, it's probably sure. It's very small. Make. So this is yeah. absolutely non-intimidating. Yeah. Exactly. Which is also Terrific. why I love these products because people have ideas yeah. about, okay, prostate toys, Right. It must be, and they don't know where the prostate is sometimes. So to be able to show this, and also that it will be very comfortable during intercourse. Usage, intercourse. During intercourse, it's oh. it's wonderful during intercourse. And as you pointed out, the arms are flexible on it, so so it is yeah. it's it's very comfortable, you know. Uh, and uh, all of the sin uh, devices, there's several different models we make, and it has these flexible arms like that. So they they tend to be, you know, really good for intercourse or any kind of encounter that one is, is involved in. So it's going to amplify that, that for you. But uh, if they're also good, if you want to, you know, as, as what I call a grinder, you know, if you want to sit on them, you know, and move uh -huh. from side to side. Right. So uh, you can do that uh, with these, these particular models and uh, I, I love them, but yeah, as I say, it's this, 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 this particular one, it, it it's kind of at, at either end of the spectrum in terms of uh, experience level, you know, we say yeah. with people. So, 
So because these are marketed as, this is the advanced model. Right. Then you have the Helix Sin, which is a bit bigger in diameter. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then the MGX, is. which is a little bigger still. So the biggest one is marketed as the beginner one. Why, why is that? Um, well, again, this, are you speaking of, are you speaking of this one? Are you saying the biggest model? Or are you saying you're talking about the MGX? In terms of diameter, the MGX is, is, uh, is bigger. Um, I think you have it with you. Actually, the, as it turns out, it's kind of interesting that way. Now I'm, I'm holding up. This is a, a okay. men's health edition of the, um, the, the blue one is a men's yes. health edition. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is actually for, for people of, uh, you know, these two are really all uh, experience levels. Uh, this tends to be more, the MGX tends to be more of, of, I don't want to call it an entry, but it, it was one of the first products that we made. And it is still one of the ones that we recommend to people. The difference here on the, the Helix, if you look at it, you can see that the, the head is angled forward. Okay, so you have a little bit more uh, of an angle on this. You have a, a larger uh, head on this than you do on the MGX. So you're going to get a little bit more robust stimulation on the Helix Sin than you will on the MGX. So, oh, I see. So it's yes. not about, okay, it's because it's angled forward and it's Correct. actually a little bigger. Yes, it oh, is. Okay. It's a little larger. It's a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the overall surface of the head is larger, I, I should say, as opposed to to the MGX. Yes. But the MGX has uh, some other things going for it, too. It has this it's wonderful little ribbing that is here on on the, the stem of it. So it provides uh, some some extra stimulation anally, which is was very wonderful so mm -hmm. yeah it's okay. it, yeah it, it it's kind of interesting because again this this was the first product that uh that Aneros made it used to be white i mm -hmm. remember it came no, on the still, market it was white yeah, it still is we still make those products now those products are made out of a rigid plastic and uh and uh they're they're terrific they really are uh i don't tend to recommend them for people who uh, want to engage, you know, in, in intercourse at the same time, because again, they don't have as much give to them. So they're not going to be quite as, as comfortable as the sin products, which are coated with a really luxuriant, uh, silicone. Yeah, they're very soft, very, yes. Yes. um, delicate feeling. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's the, the, the white ones that you're speaking of the rigid ones, they tend to have a little bit more stimulation. It's going to be a little bit stronger just because, the material itself is is rigid because it's 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 hard but mm -hmm. uh i i don't want to say again that's they're not uncomfortable to use uh but uh you know having that silicon coating is it's for for most people uh, they really do enjoy it you know it's just it, more it, luxurious feeling. it is it is mm -hmm. and it it makes introducing it into the body simpler uh mm -hmm. and uh you know it's easy cleanup too so yeah, so you would you would actually recommend this the the smallest one because this is the smallest one, right? Useful. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As also a beginner's toy, perfect for beginners. I recommend. Of the size. You, you know what I do? I recommend that to people who are squeamish about anal play. Okay. That that's that's usually how I do it. That's my rule of thumb with it, so to speak. Um, if 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 it's the first time that anybody has has. Uh, ever experienced anal play and they're a little bit squeamish about it usually go you know less is more you know it's the whole Mies van der Rohe approach right less is more right mm -hmm. so uh so i i believe in in you know in ex and people exploring it you know kind of in a more of a stepwise in a fashion for people who are like that however um if if somebody is a you know adventurous and they're open to the experience uh either the mgx or the uh the helix uh, can be used by uh, beginners so it okay. just it just depends what you come to the party with you know what i mean it, it depends what you what your your feelings are about uh anal play to begin with you know okay so. because i also understood that the shape of this is more subtle it is so and that's why it was marketed as advanced this is that's that's, that's absolutely true that is so again it's going to be an advanced user who has a uh, good muscle tone, who is going to be able to essentially get the most out of this product. 
it is more subtle stimulation that you're getting from this. You're quite right. And you're, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, but, um, you know, it, again, the advanced users, there, there are advanced users that just swear by it in terms of it providing. Uh, really, it is the most responsive product that we make. It is. Okay. But, so it moves the most or? Correct. Okay. Yes. It, it definitely will, will move the most. But it will move the most and it will give the most subtle stimulation, you see. So it's kind of a trade-off, essentially, what you're into with that. Um, you know, for, for people, okay. I'm just going to say for people who, who are, uh, you know, have the goal of having a whole body orgasm or super O, as we call them in our forum, um, you know, I, I usually like to tell them, you know, that these, if, if they're squeamish to start off with, start with the UFO. If they're not start with the MGX or the, the helix, the helix can take you all the way. The helix sin can take you all the way, you know, and it's the most popular product that we make the helix. Sin. Right. Yeah. Okay. So in your packaging, you have quite a good explanation of how to warm up for anal play, which yes. loop to use, what kind of positioning to take, etc. So, um, but to start with, why would you why would you explore prostate health uh, or stimulation? I'm sorry, is it healthy? How how would you um, would you recommend to do this often for health reasons? Um, is there sure. is there a limit? No, I, I well, listen. There's a limit to everything. I mean, we had, <laughs> let me tell you sure. something. In in 20 years of of our our user forum, uh, I've <laughs> I didn't think that there was a limit, but there are always people that they're out there to show you that there is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, there, there, there is enough of a good thing, I suppose. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being, you know, I'm joking here, of course, uh, but there, I'm, there are some men that, that quite literally wear the product out. You know, mm -hmm. this is something that you can do by the way, with the sin products that we've been discussing here, because there is that kind of flexibility. So they'll wear it to work. You know, uh, there's some that sleep with it. You know, there's some who have found whole body orgasm by sleeping with it because. It, oh, it, OK. Well, because in sleep, we turn off our conscious mind and it is our uh, subconscious mind that allows us to involuntarily react to it. And so when these men have been successful with it, they're woken up in the middle of the night by this massive orgasm, you know, that it's like, where did that come from kind of thing, you know? <laughs> But, That's uh, intriguing. Yeah. But you would ask me about the health aspect of it. And yes, all of that is is still there. Again, these all of these products that we sell today, uh, it, it's really part of our, our mission statement and uh, the the owner and founder of the company that everything we we sell still has to have a, a health purpose behind it. That is to say, it still has to be used as a health device. One of the things that you can use our product for is it's an effective Kegel sizer for men. These are Kegel exercises or the exercise of the PC muscle, the pelvic floor muscles. This is valuable in a couple different ways. Uh, if men are having urinary incontinence issues, toning the PC muscle is what you want to be doing. Absolutely. And as men get older, it's, it's something, you know, that they need to keep in mind. Um, in addition to that, it does create better circulation within the pelvic floor muscles, within the pel within the, uh, the prostate itself. There has been some research on this, uh, and, and, uh, a heck of a lot of anecdotal information that we've gotten that it, uh, by, by way of that, that it produces stronger erections. So, uh, it's, again, it has that benefit that's going for it. Um, in addition to that, benefits. It, mm -hmm. it is, but in addition to that, it, as I say, it has, uh, I, I was telling you that it was originally, uh, uh, designed for use with, uh, prostatitis and, and, uh, enlargement of the prostate. It was actually studied. We have a medical study that was done in 2009 by Columbia university medical center in the United States. And, and it was a small study, but in this study, they found that in, in 80% of cases, uh, that men had some degree of improvement of their symptoms. So it does work for that as well. It absolutely does. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So there's um, lots of benefits to toning your PC muscles. What exactly is it that you're stimulating? You're stimulating the prostate? 
But what other areas or nerve endings would you be stimulating by using these um, um, SYN products of Anilos? Okay. To start off, I'll just kind of start from the beginning, which is the outside and work in. Um, externally, uh, the external arm on, on this product that I was showing you here, this is stimulating the perineum. That's the area that's just between the scrotum and the anus. Okay, the perineum is very, very sensitive there. Part of the reason is the pudendal nerve, that is the nerve that actually um, supplies the penis, runs right underneath that area, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, this is known as an acupressure spot, okay? Again, that's right there on the perineum. Uh, in addition to that, this portion of it stimulates the anus. So all of those nerves that are in inside the anal canal. I mean, it's been said that the that the anal canal has as many nerve endings as your lips, which are very sensitive, right? Wow. So we should all now imagine what it feels like. Okay. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> mm. And then there is the prostate itself. Now, the prostate is not a sensory gland per se. It is there uh, for se several different things, and they all relate to the sexual response. One is that it actually secretes a fluid that is part of the cocktail that we call semen, that is ejaculate, okay? This particular fluid uh, helps in keeping uh, semen liquid at body temperature, and it is a nutrient for sperm, okay? In addition to that, it also supplies a lot of the, the pumping action associated yeah. with, an, with an ejaculation, okay? So it's mm -hmm. there for that. Now, I was speaking of, of, of erection. There are nerves that... Uh, are on the right and left side of the prostate, okay? They're actually on the surface of the prostate that are the nerves that are uh, involved with erection. Uh, okay. These are the nerves that in the old days when a man had his prostate removed, very often they were either damaged, you know, or, right. or removed, right? And they were not able to have uh, erectile function as, as, a, as, as a result of that. These days it's changed. They have you know, robotic techniques, so they spare those nerves. But my point is just that, again, you have those nerves that are on, on the surface of the prostate. So when we, uh, when- This is an device... important point, that, because mm -hmm. you, say, you say this has changed nowadays. Yes. We're really hoping it has. Uh, but this is an yes. important point to bring up with whatever uh, provider you have um, when you're talking about prostate removal. You want the nerve sparing technique. I think that most are doing this now. They used to call the other technique, the the, the old one, uh, the open technique. And that open meaning they, they made a huge incision in the body. A the whole. robotic, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I mean, these days it, it's it's about, it's five small incisions the size of a, of, a, of a pencil. And that's how they do it. They do the whole thing in there. And it's it's amazing, you know, what they're able to do with it. I should tell you something else has kind of happened along the way here. We've been over the last several years, this happened. It seemed to be uh, when the pandemic occurred, we, uh, we, we started getting inquiries from men who had actually had their prostates removed that were, had experienced some level of fulfillment with our products, which is kind of counterintuitive because it's a prostate product, but it does stimulate other areas as I've just described to you. And some of these men were finding that they were able to have this whole body orgasm, strangely enough, without a prostate. So, I mean, there you have it. I mean, it's, again, this is anecdotal purely, uh, you know, there's nothing definitive behind this, but it's something that we're looking into right now. And uh, we've been getting just, uh, I think at this point, we've probably had about 18 different men who have, who have uh, contacted us on this. This is and, incredible. Yeah. Um so, story yeah. or anecdotes um, but there are more than well more than one yeah um and it 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 just means so much um for men to be able to enjoy pleasure without having erections yes oh also, yes yeah that's also that's a thing mm -hmm. well that's that's kind of funny because it's uh there are some men when they have that now i'm speaking uh now of this whole body orgasm the super orgasm there are some men that have erections with this there are others that don't. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, you know, it, it just, uh, it, there's really so seems this, to be shows no you reason. there's so much more to it, um, to these, all these nerve endings and pleasure yes. zones. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It it really is. I, you know, it, it there is a certain mind and body connection that I think has to be established when when one enters into this. Um, you know, I started with them. Uh, my very first experience. I've I've been with the company now since really around two thousand. Uh, 2001 really. And um, I was one of those guys who had called in. Okay. Oh, who was, okay. yeah, right. I had that experience. I had been uh, uh, not to get into a long thing with it, but I had had prostatitis from my late twenties. I had chronic prostatitis and it was dreadful. It really was terrible. And uh, you know, I tried everything, you know, to, to uh, have some relief from it. And it was the fact that I couldn't find relief from it that led me to try something that was an alternative product. Yeah. And the first time I tried this product, something very strange happened. Again, I was into it for the therapeutic aspect of it. The first time I tried it, I had a whole body orgasm. That's amazing. Yeah. And it was, I was absolutely stunned. You know, it was, it was something that was just transformational for me. You know, I, I just um that point they didn't yeah really... it's it's something that a, a lot of people find very hard to believe right, right. that you can right. achieve well, this and well you know. i i should say this you know this is not something I, and i'd like to be very clear about this this is not something that 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 aneros created okay i'm not this is not a concept that that our, our company created or you know that we're putting out there is something that is is novel the method of achieving it is something that that we have created here absolutely but it this this didn't come about you know uh last year or 10 years ago or several decades ago or 100 years ago it actually goes all the way back we're talking millennia we're talking thousands of years to the teachings of tantra in india mm -hmm. india some little time later kama sutra in india and also uh, the Taoist traditions in China. So this is this has been known for thousands of years. You know, in the West, we're just pretty slow on the uptake with this kind of stuff. That's I hate to say it, but it's it's just the doggone truth. Well, it's, slow on the uptake, and also a bit iffy about everything. Um, that's but play. I guess. Yeah, because there's a lot of people that still tend to believe that that uh, engaging in butt play confers, um, uh, you know, a different sexuality. You know, let's put it that way, a different sexual preference. I like to make clear to everybody, just so that they know, uh, our demographic it skews about 64% heterosexual, and about 36% gay. That's the way that it is. So. Again, this is mm -hmm. this is a, it's a, it's a pleasure that uh, I mean, it, put it this way, you know, uh, in my with my mindset, you know, this is this is no more gay than it, kissing is gay. You know, it has right. there, there, there's it's a, pleasure. You know, it's pleasure. And that's that's all there is to it. And my feeling is, is that all men should be able to discover this because if they're not doing this, they really don't know what their, yeah, their, true, they are their true potential. Out. They really are. Mm -hmm. They are. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, I listen, I was one of them, you know, for, for the longest time, I thought that I knew everything there was to, to about having uh, creating an orgasm and I didn't have a clue. You know, it's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's the old expression. You, you, you don't know what you don't, you don't know, know until you, you know, know what you don't yeah. know, you know? So, yeah. Okay. So, so these Aneros, um, products, um, again, uh, the Helixin, uh, the MGX and the UFO, uh, they're very specific designs that you cannot find anywhere else on the market. Is that correct? They are yes. patented yes. designs. Yes. I've also been told that if you replace a design, another one will go out of the range. So you, you're keeping a very small range. Is this correct? Um, well, yes and no. It's it, it's interesting because I think I may have mentioned at first, you know, the MGX, this was, again, the first product. It was the white plastic one yeah. that we made that was the the first uh an Eros product that was made and really that stayed around for several years and uh ironically it's it we were still making it today but uh they found that at, at a certain point that there were men who were looking for um kind of they had certain preferences let's put it that way some men were looking for something that moved more. Some men were looking for something that was a little bit more filling. 
Some yeah. men were looking for something that was uh, that gave a little bit more robust, robust a stronger uh, prostate uh, stimulation. And so they came out with a series of devices that did that. There were uh, four that came out, or actually three in addition to the, the MGX that came out. And for really for about uh, four or five years, that's, that's all that was, was really there. So we mm -hmm. do keep, we do keep a fairly small product line as compared to a lot of other um, uh, manufacturers that are out there. And well, you're also very specialized. I mean, yeah. it's prostate toys, so very yeah. recognizable. You're specialists. Yes. So that's good. right. That's good. Right. Mm -hmm. It's we 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 bring out a product when we think that we really have something um, that will e either produce a different sensation or sort of reach a different kind of user. You know. Yeah. That's really mm -hmm. what it's all about. And um, you know, as, and as you I do said, it well. Because oh, the okay. vice, for example, the vice. Oh yes, yeah. When you really consider oh. this toy, it's very unique. Oh yeah, that's it right. The there. shape of it is unique, and the strength of the vibrations, the fact that there are two motors. Yes, in the it's same a dual, dual motor design. It's a dual motor design, and again, this is a this is a, a substantially larger product than the other ones that we were looking at before. But again, more filling, it, more robust. I yes, guess. precisely. Mm -hmm. But again, it's designed so it works with one's contractions. It's balanced so you can, it's balanced so quite literally you could use it without vibration if you wanted to. All of our products are designed, you know, to be used like that, okay? They need, you know, they have to be designed so they work with one's own contractions. The cool part about this, it also, I don't have it with me, but it comes with a really cool uh, uh, remote control as well. Yeah. And uh, I have there, it somewhere, but I would need right, to get up right. and look for it. But the there, remote, yeah, it's it's special. It's also a um, rechargeable remote, which you don't yes, it see is. that yes. often. Yes, and it works yes. really well because you see, um, you can see um, yeah. the position it's in on the yeah. on the remote, which is yes, it does. It is also a bit yeah. It makes it a lot easier okay. to use. And you can go backward and forward. In particular, that's really important with this one because there are 18 different patterns on it. So, which is a lot. It has 18 different patterns at four different levels, four different speeds. So you're talking, I like, we like to say 72 uh, different sensory experiences that are possible with this. In addition to that, it's actually, it's a lot more because if you push on the, on the tip of the remote, it's what we call a joy button. So yeah. if you essentially it's uh, it's a variable speed control that's on the the, the very button of the uh, the remote. So you can make it go faster or slower. You can make it go down to just a very small rumble if you wanted to do it just by putting just a very little amount of pressure on it. So it's a, it's a very versatile device. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very sen sensory sensory yeah. device where you push mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, to make it intenser yeah mm -hmm. or you can have so your partner do that about, yeah exactly as a remote control toy yeah. yeah um interesting and a very powerful um when we compare it to other brands it's very powerful the two motors mm -hmm. in the toy so um talking about the propelling motion because these toys were meant to use without um actually moving them with your hands they were Correct. made to move with your um, um, sphincter, Correct. sphincters, should I say? Can you yes. say a little more about this? Because this, to me, seems very important with uh, Tempo, which is not a toy, a beautiful toy, which is more um, for both um, female, biological females and male. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Tempo. That's it right, That's it right it's there. It's such a beautiful um, metal toy. Yeah, stainless and, steel. Yeah. A stainless steel product and it, it's quite different from our other our products our other products it is not strictly a prostate toy it is probably more of what one would call an anal toy and the way that it was um uh designed is it's designed to be inserted just about to right here so essentially the anus is engaging it if you can imagine between these two raised areas what that does is, is that it, it creates an instability in it. So it's not balanced it's, uh, at that point. And what it tends to do is to make the, the sphincter muscles 
react to it to try to balance it. So you essentially what happens is you get kind of a wobbling motion that occurs locally right there in the anal canal. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very powerful device. It's but, very interesting to wear during penetration as a woman. Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. a very, very nice toy, but it's for everyone. Yes. Um, so does the, do the other um, toys like the UFO um, work the same way by propelling, by making the anus work? Or how is it? Well, they, they are, they're a bit different. Again, as I was describing before, there is this pivoting action that occurs with these products. So the, the, the toy, excuse me, the device <laughs> is actually <laughs> being driven inside the body like this. So oh. again, it's, it's on the outside of the body. You contract and it, it's pivoted inward and upward like oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Now, very in re yes. In reality, the amount of movement or sometimes known as excursion, that is to say the in and out movement, it's, a, it's actually pretty small in most cases, but that's one of the things that, that people, um, they, they mistake in terms of of thinking about sexual arousal is, is that it has to be, you know, kind of a long thrusting movement and all of that. The prostate does not appreciate being engaged like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't. Um, it is desensitized by really strong sensations. Okay. I see. So I if see. you do that, if you do that, it's, you're really working against yourself. Now, look, if you're, if you're, you know, after, you know, a, uh, an ejaculation and you're looking to, to increase stimulation, you know, of through that way, it's possible to use stronger, uh, uh, stimulation for that. But, but generally speaking, uh, if you are attempting to do, uh, you know, uh, explore this whole body orgasm, it, it, it is, it's a thing of subtlety, particularly in its beginning, uh, stages with it. And you have to explore these subtle sensations and appreciate these subtle sensations before you're able to move, you know, this to a higher level of arousal. That's, that's really what it is. How subtle? Oh, I see. I see. It's, it, yeah. it's, it, sometimes it's so subtle that most people wouldn't necessarily recognize it at first. You know, mm -hmm. that's what it is. Yeah. It does remind me, of course, of G-spot stimulation. Yes. Which is... Yes. Yeah, this also is exactly something that what needs I tell to start Small. as something yeah. that you need to be aware of. And that's quite yeah. subtle. Yeah, it is. It's that the, the, the old standbys that men use for creating a strong ejaculation that is harder, faster, longer, tighter, whatever. Uh, those things, you use them with a prostate orgasm and it's a deal breaker because that's not, yes. that's not how it occurs. It's more Hard like fast penetration. It's not no, what we're looking for no, here. No, that's not what it is. I mean, that that might still work again if you're trying to to amplify an ejaculation. But if you're looking for a whole body orgasm, that's not where it is. It's that it's kind of the snowball effect. It's 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 you're 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 trying to mm -hmm. uh, subtly self stimulate yourself. Is yes, really and that is also I think where age becomes an advantage. Yeah, because you naturally. Um, slow down and get more tuned into different sensations. Mm -hmm. You're able to, def they, they, what do they call it? Uh, defer gratification. You know, you're able to, you're, you're willing to wait for something to happen. Sometimes uh, older folks are, do have that advantage with respect to it, where some, sometimes younger people, you know, I, I don't want to you know, stereotype everybody, but Sometimes younger people want the immediacy of it. You know what I mean? They want push button sex. And that's why. Yeah, or know, generally. So this, is, this yeah. isn't for instant gratification. No. These kinds of no. toys work no. differently. Yeah. But it's, but I should say this to you is, is that um, these products are also great as training devices because like anything else, uh, over time, you become more proficient with it. You become um, more expert at the use of, of the, of the device, you become more expert with having this kind of orgasm such, such that over a period of time, it's possible to advance to a level where you do not need the device anymore. And a I lot see. of our users are like that. I, I, I was, I got into that probably in a, by about the fifth year or fourth year of my journey. Okay. And wow. at that point, yeah, at that point, I was able to use all sorts of other kinds of stimulation 
to make that happen. I mean, I, I you know, at one point I, I tell the story that, that I, I had an orgasm watching a fireworks show. Yeah, I'm serious. And, 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 and okay, all of, yeah. no, That's I mean, all, all, all about it. All, all, it was, it was, it was crazy. But what I came to understand is that all stimulation has a, a certain currency like it, you know, like on, it's like, it's the same electricity, you know, and it just, it's, it's, it's the way that you work with that and that you channel that in your body. Um, by the, the, I was probably year seven or so I was able to have these orgasms by thought alone, which is mm -hmm. really, which is a really wild one, you know, and that was just about having had it so many times that I could tune into it in my body. You know, I, it was almost like there was, there were echoes of it going on that all I had to do is just kind of get my mind kind of quiet and tune into what the sensation felt like. And that mm -hmm. that in it, in itself was arousing. So yes. I know it sounds I know it sounds crazy, but it's just this is this well, is all. Well, I, stuff I is guess the body anymore. remembers these sensations, it and there's an imprint of it, and you can slide into it. So. It's all up here anyway, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's all. Our guesses brain. are start there. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, that's yeah, what it is. True. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. interesting okay so these these whole body orgasms you can call them out of body orgasms well. oh they can be they really are i mean it's they can be that way there 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 are many men that uh you know have related it almost being a spiritual experience for them um mm -hmm. you know I, I i described it just a little bit you know in terms of what what the sensation is again it uh, just go over that just a little bit again it starts deep in the pelvis okay and then it radiate, radiates out to the genitals. So you start, you do feel it in your penis to a certain degree, but from there it goes and it radiates over the entire body. And it is just, it is a like a, just a powerful consuming sensation. It's a surging sensation that you feel. And, you know, as great as that is, the other part that it, that is amazing about it is, is it lasts for, or can last for minutes at a time instead of the, mm -hmm. what? 15 to 20 seconds that most men recognize with a, a regular yeah. orgasm, right? An ejaculation. Okay. So it can last for that length of time. And to make it just, you know, sort of super, you know, Cherry on say, it is <laughs> right. You can have these orgasms over and over and over again without any pause in between. Yeah. I mean, so you're I've not losing the, the energy. That's what you're yeah, talking you're not. about. Well, the mm -hmm. thing about it is one, one thing that you discover is, is that when one has ejaculation, okay, it sets about biochemical cha uh, changes in the body mm -hmm. that sort of forces one to lose arousal. This is what, what's sometimes known as a refractory period. It's the timeout that men get. And some men may have to wait a couple minutes and some men have to wait hours before they're able to get an erection again, or they're able to be aroused again. Yeah. You don't have that with this orgasm. There is no ejaculation. So those changes do not occur. And that basically flips the lid on how many orgasms that you, you can have. It's, it's, I mean, it's really powerful stuff. You can have uh, orgasms on top of orgasms. You know, it's, mm -hmm. uh, again, several at a time. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing about what your body finding your can potential. do. Yeah. The potential of it. Very interesting, um, Forrest so um yeah at this moment um i've seen this as something um completely different but the pricing of your toys they have gone up quite a bit lately um or am i yes they have no been... no actually they... no we, we we haven't had any price increases on our on our toys oh actually. this must be in europe because of the it could be yeah, yeah. because of supply yeah change it, maybe it may it may be uh but you know in terms of our our menu our suggested retail it's it has not changed uh, i mean it we've had changed? all right yeah we've so. had some people we've had some people you know that uh, uh, have suggested it to us and there have been a lot of people that are doing that and for for good reason manufacturing has just gone way up yeah and, and shipping. uh and sh oh my gosh that that was a yeah. nightmare that i you know it's just and it it's not as bad as it, it was, but you know, in 2020, it was it was absolutely horrible. I mean, I live here in Los Angeles, and they quite literally had hundreds of 
of ships, container ships that were outside in the harbor waiting to get in, you know, and yeah, it, was, uh, yeah, I know. it was taking us months to get things. Yeah. What I wanted to say to uh, the people that are watching is that our prices have remained the same for now. So I will look into it. Um, if yeah. there's been a price, um, because to me, it seems to, to have been um, uh, driven up a bit. But anyway, uh, for the moment, you can still buy these at the regular price. And I even have a discount going on for a moment, so a 10% discount. So if you're interested in exploring these um, whole body orgasms, sound very interesting. Um, or, you know, the, the time may be now. Um, and, more course, powerful, and more powerful regular orgasms as well traditional orgasms too so both yeah yes. yeah we were talking about this in the beginning yeah. okay um so unless there's something you wanted to add um i think we have quite a good introduction to Great. what is possible with a nearest toys well, it's been a pleasure yeah. rebecca i appreciate that well yeah absolutely it was nice uh, meeting you talking to you um yeah. If there might be some questions coming up, um, so I may be able to point them to you um, or, you know, get these questions over to you to get some answers if there are any. Please do. What is the best way to follow a Neuros? Um, or uh, do you well, have any new things coming up soon? We always have new things. Actually, we just came out with uh, an accessory item uh, called the Prelude. And um, it's... <laughs> It, it, it seems like a mundane item, but we it's really a, a better version of, of a product that's been out there a long time, and that, that is an enema or a douche. Oh, and, okay. Yes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, with a lot of the products that I design, I, I, you know, I really, because I'm a user myself, uh, I really try to suit myself and and what I know of, I was also the moderator and actually still am the moderator of the Neros Forum. So I'm 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 touch with a lot of uh, users on what you know what they what they're after, and uh, this is, what's great about this product is is that I kind of introduce the idea of low volume rinsing as opposed to high volume rinsing. The way that uh, uh, most enemas work is is that you discharge it, you squeeze the bulb, and all the water goes in. In a lot of the cases, what that results in is putting cramping into the system okay so because a lot of that water goes not just into the rectum it, it goes into the colon and it creates mm -hmm. cramping and once that happens you have a long cleanup process ahead of you so really what most people who are into recreational uh anal play or prostate play want to do is they just you know they want to just clear out what's in the rectum yeah. So with this particular product, it has a slow flow, no backflow valve on it. So it allows you to squeeze out as, as little as two uh, uh, fluid ounces of, of liquid if you want to do that. So you can you can actually separate it into, you know, th three, uh, you know, different rinses that you use just from one filling. So it's it's just oh, it's okay, a, I see. a lot more. So it's a it's, lot, it's more a lot smaller as a liquid or as an amount of liquid than you. you well, you're able to do it because again, this has a no backflow valve, and so what that means is is that you can squeeze a small amount, and then if you want to go and you you go ahead and you know to the toilet, and you you uh, evacuate, but the bulb does not fill with air. You see. So you're able to, to, to go ahead and use it once again to squeeze a, a small amount of liquid in. It allows you to do things more stepwise mm -hmm. and it'll and and avoiding, you know, involving the colon in it. Okay. Because again, oh, okay. once you do that, it, it's just it, it makes for a long, you know, cleanup process. So it's it's just nice. a much more efficient way of of, of cleansing. And I've I put another a couple other little features on this that just make it better, easier to clean. It's a hundred percent silicone design, which is really super cool. That's yeah. interesting because there's makes not it, many of those on market. No, it, it makes it very comfortable and it's you know to to insert and very you know and to to use and to clean. So. Also, the part that you insert, is it also a silicone? It is. It's a well, silicone nozzle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. That's a very good thing. Okay, interested in that. Pro I didn't. I don't think I've seen it. So is this coming up? Yeah, it just came out uh, okay. at, in October. As a matter of fact, we we uh, uh, released it at uh, Aerofame this year. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. 
Okay, good. Okay. So be on the lookout for that one. It's good. I will. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe just one more question. Can you, sure. what is your favorite and yours product? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, that's really tough because it's, it's whatever I happen to be using at the, the, you know, in the present time. I, but I, I would say this, we do have a, a product that we, we came out with in last year uh, and it's called the Helix Sin V. It is the vibrating version of the Helix Sin. And just to, to give you just a you know quick uh, overview of it, for the longest time, I've never, I'm not really someone who's been terribly excited about vibration. Generally speaking, I believe that vibration can desensitize the prostate. Okay, particularly if it's static, that is continuous and at one level. And so I've, you know, and, and when I was mentoring men, I was one of the things I told them was to stay away from vibration because it, it would very often mask these very subtle sensations that we're looking to, to sort of, you know, make yeah, vibrations go all over the place. Thing. It does. And, yeah. and it's like, all of a sudden you're, you're, you're not, you're not aware of what it is that you're feeling. You know, it's all you're doing is feeling vibrations. And again, if that, that, that sensation is very small, you know, you'll miss it. So I, I, we created a product that, um, that it has three different levels of vibration. There's one level that I put in there that is very low. And the idea behind that is, is that it, it creates stimulation. And I created a series of patterns that are meant to uh, create stimulation that, that doesn't mask sensation. Okay. It's at a low enough level that allows your body to react to it and for you to be able to feel the response of your body reacting to it. So um, I'm, I'm just really excited about this product. It can be used really well, even without vibration. And uh, it's a little bit larger than the uh, a regular Helix Sin. But uh, I really think it's, in, in my opinion, it's one of the, the best products that we've ever made. I'm just, I'm really excited about it. For guys that, it has three diff different speeds. It has kind of like a low, which is a super low, and a medium, and a high speed. You know, I again, I don't recommend the high speed for, for, for most people, but there are guys that demand it. They just want to hammer themselves with uh, you know, vibration. So we, we included that too for guys that were really into that. Or, you know, that, that wanted it for, you know, to, for a traditional orgasm, for an ejaculation, for example. Yeah. For traditional stimulation. Right. For these traditional right. orgasms you're talking about. Right. Yeah. So this is a slightly smaller version of the vice then, or is it? No, no, no. It's a slight, it's a, it's a smaller version. It's a smaller version. Did I bring it? No, I didn't bring it in here. It's a smaller version, a, a, a lar slightly larger version of the Helix Sin. It's a it larger version than the Helix Sin, but it's the shape of the Helix Sin. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And it's, it's really, really interesting. And it's because it is slightly larger, it, it kind of has its own sensation profile. You know, it's, it's similar to the Helix Sin, but it's its own thing to a certain degree. And uh, again, you can use it equally well without vibration. And, and, and as I say, with vibration, it's, it's just tremendous. And there are a couple patterns on there in particular. I, I really was trying to, to create patterns that could help people kind of push them over the edge, you know, into this whole body orgasm. Cause there, there's so more some... as a more, more as a culmination of the sensations, you would then start out without the vibration or. Is that you, it can be used that way. No, no, it can't absolutely be used that way, you know, and mm -hmm. that, that, that's a great suggestion. And, and, and I, it is something I put out there to people, but it can also be used again, because this vibration is at such a low level. It's something that you can use, um, really from the start of your session, if you, if you choose to do so. And, uh, again, your body starts reacting to it and you're feeling your body reacting to it. And the thing that, that makes our, I like to say that our devices are, I mentioned before uh, about, uh, other people's devices being, excuse me just for a second, static, in other words, unchanging. That's not the way that our products are. Um, now, the, the vibration will remain the same on it, but because your body reacts to it and because the, 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 uh, the device moves in harmony to your body, it's going to be dynamic. It will be changing. 
So you are going to be experiencing different levels of sensation just by how your body is reacting to, you know, the vibration that is on there. Um, okay, so, so this might be the best of both worlds. And yes, that's really what I say. It's 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 really the most versatile product that we've made so far. I think it is. You know, okay. um, so does it have a remote or is it operated? No. No, it's okay. it's it's all on board, which uh, you know. So it's it's operated from the very bottom of it. As a matter of fact, it's uh, if you looked at this, it has a, a little tab that comes out here on the bottom, and it has one yeah. one one switch that does everything, and it's just it's terrific. And we've just we've gotten all sorts of you know great feedback on this. And as I say, from it, it's really been uh, it's 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 really been a, a, a terrific experience for me because. I, I, again, I was trying to, I was hoping that, that it would be able, you know, to, to sort of push some men who were having difficulty, like kind of getting over the top, you know, and we've had so many men that are telling us exactly that. So it, uh, I really think we've been successful in what our goal is on this product. Oh, so, superb. So you, yeah. you nailed the thing that you wanted to do with yeah, this one. I really, I really yeah. think so, you know, yeah. but again, you know, it's, it, 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 this is not to do, to, to uh, this is just happens to be right now. This is my favorite product, but uh, all all of our products are tremendous. And you know, depending on what it is that you want, what your particular preference is, you know, uh, as I said, some have more fullness, some have more movement, mm -hmm. uh, some have vibration, some don't have vibration. So it's mm -hmm. uh, it's okay. we we really try to have something for everybody. And I think each one of these products would work fine uh, as a starter toy because yeah. there's none of them, bar maybe the vice that right. is intimidating in size. So. No, it, 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 yes, absolutely correct. It's it, the vice would be the only one. It's uh, where I would say that you you really should have you know had uh, other experience with anal play or you know some other items before you you engage with that one. Uh, we also do make another one that's kind of a larger one called the Progasm. Same sort of situation with that. All the ones that we've discussed now, uh, you know, in this in this program, except except for you know the Vice Two, all those could be used, uh, you know, as introductory products and okay. uh, enjoyed by different people. So, okay, great. Um, it's been wonderful talking to you. Uh, yes. It's always nice to you, speak you. to the designer and to see who's making. The yeah. toys that we are selling, um, I think that's also a big part of what, why we do what we do. We like to work with, you know, people that are passionate about what the toys can do. So, um, very happy to have had you. Well, thank you. I just, it was a terrific experience being here. Absolutely. And um, if people want to follow Aniros, what's the best way to do this? Uh, go to our forum. Please, uh, we, you know, we do have, we have Instagram, of course, we're in all social, social media, we have Instagram, we have Facebook. Uh, but uh, I do recommend that people go to our forum too. And uh, it, it's tremendous. I think you mentioned it. Uh, it it's been around since what, 2002, 2003. And uh, over 100,000 members, you know, that we have in there and very, very uh, warm and open environment it's it's different from from a lot of the forums you know that that are out there online that sometimes can have you know testy people in them and and all of that and it's uh it's really a lot of people that that want are in, invested in trying to uh have other people be successful you know yeah. with their with their, yeah. their use of the device and I think that's one of the things that happens to you too when you use this. When the first time that you have a whole body orgasm, I know it was for me. It was like I wanted other people to know about it. You know, <laughs> I wanted other people. Part of it for me was is that there wasn't really anybody around who had had it, and I wanted other people to kind of validate it. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, so this forum is full of zealots that really want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. right. Sure. So they mm -hmm. want they want other people to to experience it and. Uh, it's mm -hmm. uh it's just it's it, you know I yeah, like it's been a while you. since i since i went through the the messages over there but it's a wealth mm -hmm. of information it's yes indeed it such, is. Uh, we such have we have we have a wiki and we have blogs and mm -hmm. even have a chat on there so you can ask questions and get them answered so yeah it's definitely something to check into okay great yeah i only wish it existed in dutch but maybe there's a sub forum <laughs> that can be yeah i'm knows. sorry about that yeah. no it's uh that's okay most of our most of our viewers of course they do um 
multilingual. No. And so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks again. It's been very interesting talking to you. You too, Rebecca. Thank you for having me. Bye, everyone.